Hello everybody, my name is Luchara, and this is Team Fight Mander. This is my new game plus playthrough. Uh, in the last episode, we hit the mid-season break and got to the mid-season patch, which included the new champion, which is Ghost. Because of course it is. So now we have all the assassins. Just make this meta even more of a mess. Devil, Necro, Dual Blader, Executioner, all nerfed. Priestess, Gambler, Shrine Maiden, Monk, all buff. Shrine Maiden, I think, is ridiculously good right now. Shrine Maiden Archer are the best things going right now. I'm really not sure how Ghost is going to fit into this. There's already so many assassins compared to other DPS in particular. <laughs> that I'm really not sure exactly. Oh, come on. You failed when you had like an 80 something percent chance. And you succeed at 48 percent. No. Anyway. See, I don't know how Ghost is going to fit in. Ghost is. Ghost can be really good. I'm going to be honest. Ghost can be really, really good. Fun minus chickens. The first half they liked. Magic Knight, Necro, Plague Doctor, Lightning Mage. What was the Necro nerf? Attack. That's all. That's like. Your attack is halved. I don't think I have to ban Necro anymore. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should still. <laughs> or Devil. I think we're going to ban Vampire because I just don't like going against Vampire. And maybe Ghost. I don't know. I don't know how Ghost is going to be. I feel like Ghost is going to be pretty good, though. Just all these assassins and all these supports. It's just a weird mix. Extremely weird mix. Archer's good. Shrine Maiden's good. Barrier Mage is actually pretty good right now. Priestess is actually pretty good right now. But, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to take Ghost away for this game at least. No Archer. I'd like to get Gambler. So he's taking away all the tanks, it looks like. And the ninja, okay. I guess Berserker. Lightning Mage? Guess, God. There's just so few non assassin DPS options. So let's roll. I got better alts than him, I'm pretty sure. Although Plague Doctor can be pretty good. What even happened there? I guess I came out ahead. That was pretty chaotic, though. Gambler, I'm not sure what you were doing up there by yourself, but... Okay. Oh, yeah, the Berserker. Mm, yeah, Berserker can live with that much health. I'm gonna... This is gonna go pretty well for me. That was a good little skirmish for him. Okay, there's Spider Alt. Giant Maiden Alt, obviously. Plague Doctor Alt. Oh, Berserker Alt. Plague Doctor Alt's... Canceled my Berserker Alt out. That's not good. Alright, Gambler Alt. That's just a pretty crappy Gambler Alt, though, I think. Snake Eyes did. Alright, so on my head. Yeah, I should be okay. There's only five seconds left. Big win. Low damage all around. I see, look at this. My support did almost as much damage as my damage dealers while also healing for 700. Ninja had a good game. So yeah, I guess I'm trying to say Shrine Maiden is good. Alright, so that's a big win. Good start. Always good to start with a win. Can we get a 2-0 here? Because despite our 7-2 record, we are only in second right now. There's a team that went 8-1 in the first half. I beat them. Nobody else did. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Fighter was a necessary ban there. But whatever. He's really trying to make Plague Doctor work. Ooh, Necro. This is going to be... 
tougher. He's got a better comp this match than he did last match, I think. Depends what the Necro does. If the Necro gets Berserker, I'm probably in trouble. Generally how that goes with Necro. <laughs> and Barrier Mage, is, Barrier Mage is pretty good right now. I know it got nerfed there not that long ago, but it's still pretty good. Dual Blader also got nerfed, but it's I think it's still pretty solid. But it needs uh, it needs CC to really work, and he doesn't really have any CC. There, there's a Shrine Maiden alt. There's a Gambler alt. Barrier Mage alt. Oh, and Necro did get Berserker. Plague Doctor alt. That Berserker's still alive. Thank you. Yeah, I think he actually had better alts. Ooh, this is kind of come down to the wire. That's a good barrier. That's not good for me. Big kill there. Okay. I think we're okay. Obviously. <laughs> he says as time expires. Yeah. Oh, my Shrine Maiden is so good. So good right now. But pretty soon, it's just going to be Shrine Maiden and Archer banned from me every single game. So look at this. Look at Team Duo mid. 9-0 against everybody except me. And I lost to Origin and like Cool Tigers, I think. It wasn't a good team, my second loss. Alright. So I banned Vampire and Ghost, and I 2 owed. But at some point, I want to try letting Ghost through. Alright, so G5. Magic Knight, Lancer, Plague Doctor, Berserker. Okay, so clearly he likes... Tanks with Plague Doctor. So I'm going to ban Plague Doctor. And Vampire. And I want to see if he, if Ghost gets picked. Basically. I guess I should have checked the overall stats to see how much Ghost was picked that week. But I'll try letting it through for one game. <laughs> well, it depends too if he bans Archer or not. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use my first ban on Vampire, and I'll see what he does. If he bans Archer, I don't know. Archer's just strong against assassins, right? No, yep. Archer's gone. All right, I'm going to try letting Ghost through for one game. Well, he went Lightning Mage. Interesting. Let's see if he takes Ghost. He did not. Hmm. Do I want to try Ghost? <laughs> See what happens. Okay, this is actually... That might be an okay Ghost game. I need a tank here, though. Good old Berserker, I guess. Execution would probably still be solid, but he was nerfed. Give that a try. I mean, it's Ghost. <laughs> ghost can carry, or he could absolutely feed. I mean, that's the way Ghost goes, right? So he got the kill there, so that's good. We are losing, though, right now. It's close. Oh, Ghost almost got the kill there. I think, I think it's, it's, as long as I get the assist, it's fine. Right? He gets bopped every time he's in on a kill. He doesn't need to get the kill. So I'm ahead right now, but I feel like it's not because of Ghost. It's more despite Ghost. Alright, so he's... There's, that's all his alts. Let's see if my Ghost can do some damage late game here. Nope. <laughs> oh, this is going to come out of the wire. Alright, Ghost, need to get a kill. Oh, that was a good barrier. That was a really good barrier. Oh, the, oh. <laughs> close. No, Ghost wasn't it. Ghost was not it there. Some good barriers, honestly. Alright, well maybe I'll let Ghost through next time. But just because I don't win with it doesn't mean he won't, right? 
I mean, he didn't pick it super early. Um, so vampire and what? Black doctor. Ooh, he's, Archer's still there. <laughs> that pick Archer. Will Shrine Maiden be there? Oh, wow. Look at that. Hmm. <laughs> huh. That's interesting. That's very interesting. That's what he went with there. Do have some CC. I could probably take Dual Blader here. Dual Blader and Executioner. Executioner. Well, his attack got, bought, or got nerfed. Fighter. Okay, so Ghost wasn't picked. So Ghost isn't meta right now. It appears. But, I mean, this might have been a decent match to take Ghost. He has a lot of, uh... He has a couple squishy support-type targets. But, uh, we we'll... That's the thing. I was so eager to see Archer there that I picked it, but maybe, maybe Shrine Maiden is better. I'm curious to see, realistically, Shrine Maiden and Barrier Mage. Like, can that work? Is is it working? I mean, it's not not working <laughs> right now. I mean, but it's it's hard to kill, right? If they get in there, if they get into the. Uh, the barrier and then they start getting healed on top of it it's not good it's not good for me executioner was probably a good pick because his all counters healing more than anything more than his damage or tanking or anything yeah archer look at the damage and dual blader for that matter but you need cc to go with dual blader but every single person does cc with my dual blader. So it works. All right, so. What do we want to do? Well, it depends what he bans. Like, I, it'll never happen. But I can just only imagine if he left Archer and Shrine Maiden both open. That would be crazy. I'm getting one of them though. Oh, I'm getting both. I, I'm not even thinking about that. All right, so he's going to dual blader. So I will need a tank here, but I got options. I can go boom, boom, or boom. Um, I kind of want to do lightning mage here. Then I'll just take a tank. I guess that was also an option for tank. <laughs> so I, I'm thinking either monk or an executioner. I want a high survivability tank. Um, I don't need the damage. I have pretty good damage, so I'll go executioner. Yeah, we'll try that. I think that should be good. Depends how often the ninja can kill the Shrine Maiden, honestly. Ooh, that actually, that skirmish went their way, I feel like. Oh, they killed the, they killed the archer. The archer's pretty slippery, usually. Yeah, killed the Shrine Maiden. This is pretty, pretty even thus far. Neither team has great alts. Alright, so there's Shrine Maiden and Electric Lightning Mage, whatever. Both down. 
That was Lancer, I think. That was Spider, Dual Blader. It's all both teams' alts, I think. The Ninja alt in there? I think so. Feeling pretty good here. Ninja did his job, I think. But wasn't enough. This archer did a ridiculous amount of damage. And sh look at the Shrine Maiden damage. Combined with over a thousand healing. I mean, you can't let somebody get both of these picks. And actually, Lightning Mage is pretty good right now. Especially when they go with tank clusters, right? Which seems to be the meta the AI likes. They like a two, two tanks, two, three tanks, you know? Very rare that the AI does take two tanks. Oh my god, is anybody ever going to beat Team Duo mid? Like, please? Somebody beat them other than me? I'd love to finish first, but... I mean, second's okay, but first is guaranteed promotion, right? You don't have to worry about it. If you finish second, you still got to win a playoff game. So is Ghost getting picked at all? Nope. Literally just me. <laughs> All right, so there you go. There's the answer to that question, and I'm the only one who banned it. But you know what happened? You know what this means? This means it's gonna get buffed, <laughs> and then we know what that means. It means ghosts can be scary. I'm surprised archers way down here. I mean, way down, not that far down. Gambler, yeah. I mean, I prefer archer, but gambler's good too. But it, it's no coincidence. I mean, I know she's a healer, but she's gotten... Her damage has been buffed considerably, but it's like damage dealer. Non-assassin damage dealer. All five of these are non-assassin damage dealers. They're like the only non-assassin damage dealers, essentially. Right? So it's it's a weird... Yeah, it's a weird selection champion. So that's New Game Plus for you, though, right? All right, let's, let's see what GG Gaming likes. Plague Doctor... Lancer, Executioner, Magic Knight. So we'll just ban uh, Vampire and Plague Doctor, I think. Because that's what... Uh, what's good. Good against us. Vampire is something, I don't know, I just struggle with sometimes. I think with this meta too, you need really big burst damage against Vampire. Right? Like, Archer's okay against it. But I can't guarantee I'm going to get Archer these days, right? Because it's... So that's priority pick and ban. There's no sniper, there's no pyro, there's no ice mage. Those are all things that are good against vampire, and that's just not an option these days. So, gotta roll with what's there. <laughs> You're gonna make me pick. Oh well, I'm gonna take Archer and hope he doesn't take both of the supports. As long as he doesn't, I'll take the other one. And sports, I mean the Barrier Mage is trying to mean specifically. But if he takes neither, <laughs> I'll take Shrine Maiden. I do like Barrier Mage, but I prefer Shrine Maiden. Alright, so now I need. Well, let's just go with Lightning Mage and Berserker. This comp is working anytime I get it, right? For the most part. Yeah, let's try that. That should work. That feels good. I feel like I have I have a better team. I have better alts. I mean, he's tanky. Tankier than me, but that's all he is. Over me. Yeah, that skirmish is about how I expect most of the game to go. And, I mean, I said I had better alts. Archer and Lightning Mage are, just, are both mediocre alts, but... Berserker potentially is one of the best alts now. He does have Executioner and Lancer, which both can counter it a bit, but it doesn't appear as though he's using them at the right time. And then I got Shrine Maiden alt, which is just always solid, right? We just kind of tend to win fights when it's up. As we did there. Although Executioner also counters it a bit, because basically the Shrine Maiden alt just sends out the balls, and some of them heal, some of them do damage. And if the Executioner ult is active, obviously we can't heal. Yeah, this went about how I expected it to go. 23 to 7. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know. They're really... The AI is really picking tanks hardcore lately. I don't know. It's weird. Like, last patch buffed not tanks. It was Gambler, Priestess, Shrine Maiden, and uh, Priestess. Or they say Priestess, Shrine Maiden, Gambler, and Monk. Sorry. Got buffed last patch, but he's all eager for, like, Fighter, Dual Blader, Magic Knight. Nah, that's no surprise. So now do I ban Archer? Because I don't want him to first pick it, right? Maybe he won't. Don't if he does, I'll just snap Gambler. We didn't. So now I can go Archer Barrier Mage here. And then come back with a Gambler or Lightning Mage. And then get my tank with my last pick. Do I want Gambler or do I want Lightning Mage? Let's go Lightning Mage. Ooh, Devil. Okay, Devil might be tricky. Yeah, he's not giving me many options for tanks here. <laughs> Lancer. Later. Monk. Let's actually go Monk. I feel like I have enough damage. I know. I'm always crapping on Monk. And I do think it's not good. But. Gotta kind of roll with it, I think. His job is just to absorb damage. I don't even care if he heals. He just needs to absorb damage and let these three do their thing. That's it, right? That's all that matters. Oh, that went well for him and not well for me. That's a little better. Yeah, now, yeah. Ooh, Archer being slippery. Nice. That was Archer alt, though. Monk alt. Barrier Mage alt. My alts are just fair here, honestly. Alright, so there's Devil alt. So here's where he potentially gets back in it. Dual Blader alt. So that's all his alts. But it's tied up now. Largely due to his alts. Oh, but we killed Devil there. That's big. That was a good barrier. Very good barrier. Oh, another good barrier keeper. It's only for herself, but it kept her alive just that little bit. Enough for us to get the win. Yep. <laughs> That was close. That's what I get for picking Monk. But I didn't have my Shrine Maiden, right? And honestly, Devil's... That was a good pick. That was a good pick there. But Archer... Just doing Archer things. <laughs> Did they finally lose? Nope. <laughs> They're unbeatable. Team Duo made... Unbeatable. And like, look at the tiebreaker. Like, I've been rolling mostly two O's. And yes, I'm still barely ahead of him in tiebreaker, but I'm feeling pretty good for second place. Right? It's going to be pretty unlikely that I don't finish at least second. In my opinion. Did anybody pick Ghost that week? Nope. Somebody banned it twice, though. Interesting. Like, yeah, look at Magic Knight. Look how often it's picked, and it's just not winning. A Necro. Now, this is the whole season, obviously. There's been multiple patches, but Necro is the most picked. And then Magic Knight. And Plague Doctor. Magic Knight does not have a good win percentage at all. Well, most of those aren't me. I know that. Those picks. Gambler's not picked a lot. Neither is Shrine Maiden. We're sleeping on that. What does have the highest pick band? Might actually be Archer. Necro's high. Leg Doctor's high. There is Vampire in here. Oh, it does have a good winning percentage. I'm pretty sure almost all these 21 bands are me. <laughs> I just don't want to deal with it. Basically. Anyway. Fatality. Necro. Dual Blader. Fighter. Lancer. 
Yeah. I don't know. Necro got nerfed pretty hard there with that last patch. I don't know if I need to ban that. Honestly. Let's see what else comes down here. He's got first pick. I'll ban Vampire for sure. And then we'll see. Can I let Plague Doctor through? But, I mean, what else would I ban? Devil, I guess, just because it's annoying. Right? Like, Lightning Mage is a good ban against me. I've been picking it a lot lately. Barrier Mage, okay. Yeah. He doesn't take Archer. Oh, he didn't. You fool. Fool. Can't leave both of those for me. You just can't do it, man. I'll take Gambler, and then last pick, I'll just pick one of these tanks. I'll just take Executioner. What's this last pick? Duplicator. Okay. I don't know. I feel good. I feel like we've seen this matchup or a really similar one a lot lately, and I've I've won pretty much all of them handily. I mean, I guess he has Berserker. Potentially a really good Berserker alt. Oh, wow. He must be set to early alt. So that was a pretty early dual blader alt. And there's the Berserker alt. So he's going to get a big... He's going to get to lead off these alts. Obviously, right? But I feel like I'll turn it back around here. No problem. Yeah, my, arch, my alts are starting to come down. There's Gambler. There's Archer. And there's Shrine Maiden. And there's the lead back for me. Ninja, I mean, Ninja's doing its job, I think. Ninja is their MVP for sure thus far. It's uh, it's not nearly enough, as you can see. Nice. No, it's a good win. Good solid win. Uh, I feel like you give me Archer and Shrine Maiden, I'm gonna win. It's just. It's just gonna happen. Yeah, like dual blader. Lancer has CC, but Berserker doesn't. Ninja doesn't. Dual blader's not a good pick there. But like if if they give me Archer and Lightning Mage, then maybe I'll take Dual Blader, right? Because that's two things with CC. I feel like you need you don't need all three of your people to have CC, but I feel like you need two. What did they ban last time? Vampire and Devil? He didn't take Plague Doctor. Lightning Mage again. I mean, don't get me wrong. Lightning Mage is solid. Mm. See, this... I'm a, if I take Archer, I'm scared he's going to take Shrine Maiden. You know what? If he does, I'll just take Priestess. I know it's not as good as Shrine Maiden. But... No guarantee he does. Well, he didn't take it anyway, so... It's all good. I don't know. I feel like I can just take Gambler and pretty much any of the tanks here and be fine. He took Necro, so I'm, I actually think I'm going to not take Berserker. I just don't like when Necro gets Berserker with Assault. I'll just go with the same comp I just went with. Okay, this time he took Plague Doctor. Interesting. Interesting. He has, uh, arguably he has better alts, but I feel like I, I'll be fine. He's, he's set for super early alts, so he'll, he'll get the lead here off these alts. All right, so Necro Gut Executioner. All right, so yeah, so he had a lead. It's already gone, and I think all his alts are down. I'm not sure about Fighter and Lancer. I may have missed them in the chaos, but yeah, that must be down. He's because he's set there early. So there's Shrine Maiden alt, there's Executioner alt, and there's Gambler alt. Archer alted in there as well, I think. But I mean, I got a pretty healthy lead there now, so I'm not particularly concerned. But yeah, I was saying if he took Shrine Maiden, I take Priestess. 
Priestess has been bopped a couple of times, so she would heal a Bowo, but obviously she doesn't do any damage. So you gotta be careful with the rest of your comp. You gotta make sure you have enough damage, right? But I mean, if I had these two, that's plenty of damage. Yeah, and, uh, that's a lot of damage for her support. They got a nerf to try Maiden, honestly. Oh my god, Team Duo made still. Another 2 0 for them. It's crazy. Crazy. Another patch. Nope, oh, there's my sponsor quest done. Oh, no patch. Oh, it must be one more game for a patch. All right, anyway, that's going to be all for this episode. We are at the uh, little over the 30 minute mark. So if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Join my Discord. Be good to each other. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.